Hey, good afternoon. This is Kevin Gilmore with the National Weather Service Slat Isle Office doing your weekly weather briefing for Sunday, September 24th. Starting things out with what we've been sharing on social media. This is the forecast for Sunday showing you the probability of precipitation to the right for our local area. Um, really, overall, it's actually a pretty nice day. Uh, we do have some scattered showers out and around. Uh, highs around 88 to 92, so not so bad. Uh, best coverage is going to be mainly west of I-59, but we are already seeing some development across coastal Mississippi. So hopefully you'll see a scattered shower across your area. It will be will be a welcome sight for many. And then it will be turning dry later with most of its development dissipating as we get past sunset. Now as for Monday, we're going to talk about Monday in a little bit more detail here in the next few slides. We see the probability of precipitation does go up with best rain chances for western areas. This is because we'll be monitoring a complex of storms possibly entering our area early in the morning, possibly around daybreak or could be slightly before that with a couple of scenarios which we'll discuss here shortly about what we could see. But overall, rain chances will be a lot higher, but even higher than what we are seeing today on Sunday. So that's great news. It's just we do have low confidence in regards to timing. So for now, what we're advertising is that there's a chance for showers and storms pretty much at any point during the day from early in the morning through the afternoon hours. It just depends on some of the specifics, which we'll go over here shortly. Otherwise, it'll be mostly cloudy and warm with highs 85 to 90. So again, not a real bad day, no excessive heat concerns. And then we'll see conditions turning dry again as we get to the overnight hours. Now here's what I was talking about as far as details go. To the left here is simulated reflectivity from model guidance, which is one of many tools that us meteorologists use to help forecast the weather. This is from a model called the HER model. Uh, this is a high resolution model that helps actually show what the reflectivity or the radar imagery could look like in the near future hour by hour. And this is the model run from earlier this morning, valid for 8 p.m. tonight or Sunday night, showing us a complex of showers and thunderstorms, likely strong to severe thunderstorms, ongoing across the Arklatex region. Now, where these develop will have everything to do with the downstream propagation because these will be moving down towards the southeast through the overnight hours. And as you can see here, this is 1 a.m. in the morning. We see that complex expands and continues down across eastern Texas, northern Louisiana, and southern Arkansas. So from here, the downstream propagation has everything to do with how these storms initially materialize. If this complex could hold together more, it may make it into our area, or it could completely fall apart and we just see the redevelopment of more activity during the day. Again, here's 6 a.m. This is what the model is kind of thinking that it will mostly fall apart, but reignite some shower storms in some locations. So we, again, there's your solution one and solution two, exactly what I was just talking about. If this complex can hold together from initially more uh, stronger storm coverage upstream across the Arklatex re region, we could have a line of showers and storms coming through our area around daybreak, which may interrupt some areas uh, and interfere with some morning commute for some people. Uh, or this may fall apart and may see just the redevelopment later in the morning into the afternoon hours of just more messy scattered shower storm development. So just remains to be seen right now. This is just an idea. Overall, though, uh, just uh, excluding the details, overall, we're seeing higher rain chances, which is which is fantastic news for a lot of people. Just be weather aware in the morning. Just kind of check the radar before you get up and uh, go to work in the morning just to make sure and see where the th storms are located. Uh, could be dry or there could be some storms around. Just uh, be weather aware and just check back, especially in the early morning hours. So looking at the rest of the week, uh, we talked about Monday there. And how's Tuesday through Friday looking? Uh, really not too bad. Uh, same. Temperatures near normal. Uh, highs in the upper 80s, the lower 90s. Scattered rain chances primarily in the mo uh, late morning to afternoon hours will persist Tuesday through Friday. So hit or miss, not an all-day washout. Um, but then again, it's not going to be dry every day either. You may see a passing shower storm at times. So hopefully that will really help with some of the drought conditions across the area. And we can't not look at the tropics, especially given the time of year. We are paying close attention to what is going on in the Atlantic Basin. Uh, we do only have uh, Philippe that's out in the Central Atlantic, uh, not far from the Lesser Antilles. Uh, that system is uh, forecast to continue off towards the northwest. But here locally in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean is very quiet, so no local impacts are expected over the next five to seven days. 
And then we're going to look at the drought monitor. Still extreme to exceptional drought conditions continue all across Louisiana and southern Mississippi. So that's why this, these rain chances are a welcome site for us and hopefully it can help with these drought conditions. And that ends this briefing. We hope you have a great week.